Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swakun, back at it again with another video, and today, we're gonna be going over a full attack mission main, solo, and a main defense, and final room showcase, my G, for the boy, <coughs> my bad, fuck, the boy can get to, who is a Mizukage, my bad, yesterday I said Kazekage, whatever, I, I forgot, anyways, if you guys did not check out my summary video, please go ahead and check that out. But let's go ahead and check out this man's kit. So I was able to get his X Ultimate. I maxed it out all the way to the full 8 star as possible. Then we got his new Limit Break. Limit Break at Limit Break 1. Um, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? At Limit Break 2, he does get Triple Strip, which is very good. But Limit Break 1 should be okay for the showcase for right now. And then we'll see if he's really worth investing in or not. And then we have his new 4 star as well. The Water Tornado Jutsu, which is his Ninja Bond. And finally, we have the Walmart version of his other 4 star Jutsu. Since your boy got finessed on it. So the difference for this is that this one only goes up to level 2. So... He will not be getting the inflicts enemies with seal and slowed movement, decreasing defense, invincibility, movement speed, um, and confusion, and negates stat increases. So unfortunately, he does miss out on a pretty decent chunk right there. But his main hard hitters are going to be these two jutsus right here in the front. Um, so these are the this is the way that I built him up. I basically just got all the purple cards. So I went ahead and did this, got all the purple cards, and equipped the ones that I had available on him. And for his link board, let me go ahead and show you guys that really quick. I have him up to link board 2, which he does get um, immunity to seal. So you want to build him up with paralysis and confusion. Um, so this is how I have him built up. And I really just wanted to focus mainly on the paralysis part. The confusion still needs a little work. I just stole some youth trophies from other shinobi in order to do the showcase. And the rest of these are just filled with paralysis and from the roundup tool. Um, for the ninja bond, I think a good one for him is one that... Uh, Basically, he decreases seal. So, he decreases seal with his kit. So, you want to have a jutsu that decreases seal um, or inflicts seal on his kit. And also, maybe, like, decreases defense. That way, he can do more damage. He's a purple type unit, so he's kind of all around. You know what I mean? He's not excelling in, every, in any specific part. But he is an all-around unit. So, if you build him up with attack, he's going to do more damage. If you build him up with defense, he's going to be more tanky. So, all a preference on how you want to build him. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into the attack mission showcase and then we'll get into defense. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's get it, baby. So as y'all can see, limit break first, new four star second. Now, what I really like about his kit is how creative it is, bro. For one, look at how easy it is to get rid of these traps. This is just using his normal attack, bro. With this normal attack, you're able to get rid of projectiles from far away. We're going to use the X ultimate right here. Now with the X ultimate, he does get revival and damage nullification. And when the red bar is full, he gets immunity to recoil. So, we're going to go ahead and just spam these jutsus right here. High accuracy on that limit break, so he will be able to hit Final Valley Sasuke, even though he has the huge evasion buff. And look at how easy this man puts in work, bro. Now, like I said, this man honestly is arguably one of the best attack mission mains in the game, for sure. He has great, like, um, crowd control, AoE. He has a really great way of summoning units from far away, as y'all can see. Limit Break right here has high accuracy, does a lot of damage, and look at how easily we're putting in work, bro. Keep in mind, my Gengetsu is only S rank. Like, I haven't even fully built him up as good as I want to, and I only have the Walmart version of one of his 4-star Jutsu. So, that just goes to show how great and how much potential this man actually has. So, like I said, I don't have a speed buff. <coughs> you do get a speed buff with that four-star jutsu when you have it at level eight. I only have it at level two, bro, because I got that Walmart discounted price coupon on it. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, so Naruto Uzumaki, the last in here. We're going to go ahead and summon him from far away. I can't see his ass. Let's use this third jutsu and see if we kill him. If not, yeah, I'm going to use the X ultimate to not risk anything. Use the X ultimate right here. Easy money, great AoE right there. And now we have Revival again. So, look, look at this normal attack right here, by the way. Look at... Okay, for one, that's clean as fuck, bro. My boy has a blicky, bro. My boy is really shooting out bullets out of his hands, bro. Bro is strapped up. And with this blicky, it makes it so much easier to get rid of those water traps. And look at this gate crash right here, right? We're going to make easy work of this. Shoot it from far away with the blicky. Look how easy it is, my G. That shit's crazy, bro. Look how, that, that is so clean, that's so tough. That has to be like my favorite normal attack animation in the entire game. But anyways, we went ahead and got rid of everybody right here. 
So the good thing about him is you have a lot of options in order to go into final room. You can use the four star jutsu like this in order to suck enemies into that. Um, so you have a couple different options right here, but I'm going to use the X ultimate outside of the gate because it does leave a massive uh, whirlpool thing right here. We're going to go ahead and go right inside, use the limit break, use the four star, and look at how easy this is going to be, bro. Like I'm just chilling spamming two jutsus over and over and over again and look at how easy this is going to be bro high accuracy on that limit break and high accuracy on that four star jutsu easy money and these clones are going to suck enemies in as well we're just going to keep our distance that way we don't get x ulted right here by the shadow sasuke but i think that's ggs right there my boy so as y'all can see very 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 solid debut right there and he does have great gate crash capability with his x ultimate as well so anyways that's the side mission solo let's go ahead and get into defense Okay, here we go. So I got him right here on a flying room. I do believe that his best spot is a flying room. Um, I, I'm, I'll test him out on blue summon too. He might actually be pretty decent on blue summon. But for him, his biggest thing is probably getting this uh, trap right here, negate stat increases. Because with his new kit, like most of the time, his AI is going to use this Jutsu first. Okay, I have his limit break set as first. But most of the time, his AI is just equipped to use this Jutsu first. So for that reason, this one doesn't have high accuracy right off rip. Um, it does give him... <clears throat> my bad. It does give him invincibility and stuff. But this Jutsu is the one that you really want him to spam first. So if you want to use all three Jutsus, which I personally think is better, then you should equip him with this trap right here. That way, if an enemy uses their evasion before they get thrown in here, it's going to get stripped and he'll be able to start off with a tornado and then use the highly accurate limit break jutsu. Otherwise, you can get rid of the tornado jutsu altogether and just run these two. And he will use the limit break first, but this jutsu is just too good to not use. Especially in my case where I only have the Walmart version of this, so I'm going to use all three jutsus. But just a heads up on that. Anyways, let's go ahead and check it out and see how good this man could actually perform. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. So I got Final Valley Sasuke in here because Final Valley Sasuke gets a huge evasion buff by using his limit break. So I want to see how good this man could actually put up with that. So let me put it on auto and let's get into it. Put it on auto right here. As I told y'all, he uses that uh, Tornado Jutsu first. So he's using that Kirin right there. He should use his limit break. Okay, so use the Walmart Jutsu. All right, let's see. All right, so he used the limit break and Sasuke is taking damage, okay? So I, I want him to, I want them to be offset. That way you guys can see. Let's see, hold on. Come on, bro. All right, using the X ultimate. Nah, that's tough. That's tough. Sasuke was beating his ass and he is still tanking very nice. Is able to have invincibility to pull off the X ultimate. And even if Sasuke were to survive that, he would have got trapped in that whirlpool and he has revival and damage nullification and immunity to recoil which is like the most annoying thing ever so now let's go ahead and go back in since sasuke was acting a fool was trying to throw hands and everything so let's go ahead and give him all of these buffs so i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him the huge evasion buff status element immunity and now let's see how it goes from here all right here we go so put it on auto i gave him all of the buffs so his evasion looks like he gets stripped right here. All right, so he's using that limit break right there. Then he uses the Walmart Jutsu. Okay, see, in this sense, it was a little different. And that's why... Oh shit, I forgot the clone was there. I was like, what was going on? So that's the only problem with my specific Gengetsu is that he does have the Walmart Jutsu. And like I said, he does miss out on that invincibility strip, which would have been very nice to do that. Decreasing the defense, movement speed, increasing confusion. Like, that would have been very good. But unfortunately, since Sasuke already came in, like, throwing hands, and I don't have that maxed out four-star jutsu, he did get clapped. But you guys see the potential, you know what I'm saying? This man is definitely very good at support killing, at stalling, and he's actually very solid on um, this side over here. In my opinion, I think it's best to build him up more as a tank, like, with a lot of defense. Just because he's really tanky and he seems like a very good stalling unit instead of a one-shot unit. But if you want to uh, build him up with attack, he, he's a purple unit. So he is tanky enough on his own to be able to survive that. But anyways, I want to try him out on revival and then I want to try him out on blue summon. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, here we go. So I'm going to put it on auto. I got Naruto the last right here. 
Hold on, let me get his ass out of here because he's just going to be running in circles. Okay, here we go. So, uses that tornado first, as expected. New limit break is causing damage, as y'all can see. Uh, Naruto The Last Help did drop right there. He's getting sucked in by that clone from the limit break. And look at how crazy this man is stripping all of his status elements, bro. That's tough. That is so tough. That's so tough. Naruto The Last is just so broken, bro. But you guys see the potential. Hold on. Not Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. I want to try it out. Let's go with Final Valley Sasuke. Let's see if my man can get his redemption right here. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. So put it on auto. Let's see how it goes. Oh my gosh, this dude is just going to be running in fucking circles. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, sure, let's go run over there. Okay, so Sasuke using the limit break again, right? Let's see if Gengetsu can pull off his limit break in time. But Sasuke's, nah, he's, he's stuck in a loop right here. He's going to be stuck in that loop. But we do got the revival. So keep in mind, if Gengetsu is able to pull off his X ultimate, he will get revival again. So let's see. Nah, he's getting clapped by Sasuke. He's getting clapped. So, like I said, mine's not built up that great. You guys saw the potential with Naruto the last right there. Maybe Sasuke is just his ultimate enemy, bro. But this can get to can be very good um, in general as a flying support killer. As y'all could see, um, he just needs to be built up a little better. But like I said, I got I got discounted. I got discounted jutsus from the flea market on my guy. Let's go ahead and check him out on Blue Summit, and then we'll check him out finally in final room and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Last chance against his arch nemesis, Sasuke, I guess. Let's see. Okay, so again, using that tornado whirlpool right there. Let's see if he gets looped or not. Oh, he's going to get looped. It might be GG's. Might be GG's. Yup, yup. It's GG's for the boy. So, I definitely think his best spot is for sure going to be either Revival or or a flying support killing room but like i said if you are going to use him with all three jutsus i do highly recommend using this mound of staffs um installation if you don't have it it's going to be in the fortress metal shop you guys can just copy it right there pretty easy but let's go ahead and try him out in final room i'm going to replace um final valley naruto with him so let's go ahead and find his ass i'll probably keep the same ninja bond and everything so let's go ahead and test him out and see how good he can be in here so let's get it Okay, here we go. So we're right outside of final room. Let's go ahead and use the X ultimate. Put it on auto, and let's see. All right, so starting off with that tornado jutsu off rip. Using the limit break jutsu. So far, so good. Oh, he uses X ultimate. Oh my gosh, look at the AoE on this shit, bruh. Yo, nah. Does Naruto have revival? Uh, look at both Gengetsu's in there posted up, bro. Hands in pockets and air. Nah, that's tough. That's so tough. <laughs> nah, that's tough, bro. Okay. It looks like he does pretty similar things to Naruto Light. But can he replace Naruto Light? Let's, let's, let's check it out, bro. Let's check it out. Let's throw in, um, let's throw in Final Valley Naruto up in here again. Where's his ass at? There it is. Okay, so we'll put Gengetsu over here in the corner. Uh, so let me trade them. Can he replace Naruto Light, bro? We're about to find out. We're about to find out today, my Gs. I got y'all. I got y'all in the scoop. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So same thing. X Ultimate outside the gate. Use uh, auto. Let's see, baby. Let's see. Okay, so Gengetsu, y'all see him at full health right now. Health is dropping pretty quickly, though. Health is dropping pretty quickly. Okay, Final Valley Naruto uses X Ultimate that did nothing. You guys can see Gengetsu's clone right there sucking uh, Naruto the last in. Kawaki uses X Ultimate that did nothing too. Is Gengetsu still alive though? Where's he at? Gengetsu's still alive, right? He is! This motherfucker's posted up right there! Hands in Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Nah, this man might be meta. This man might be meta. Yo, what the fuck? Fuck. And that's with the Walmart yard sale discount jutsu, bruh. Nah. I think this man might be a very solid replacement for Naruto Light. Okay, but there is one last test that we gotta do, bruh. 
We gotta do the Naruto Light Gate Crash Test. We we gotta run it up. It's gotta be the Naruto Light Gate Crash Test. Let's go ahead and put in the random. Let's let's throw Rock Lee, my boy. Let's throw you in right there. And we need to test out the Gate Crash because obviously the Gate Crash with the Rasen Shuriken is the most fucking annoying thing in the game. We gotta test it out. If this man can help protect everybody from that, he's meta. He's 100% meta. Right now, the final room, there are a lot of great units, but it's like the main four or five units in the game because those are the ones that can protect you from the Naruto light, gate crashing, Rasen Shuriken meta. So, hey man, we might have a meta final room unit right here. We're gonna need to check it out. So hold on, I'll meet y'all at the gate. I'll meet y'all at the gate, my G. Okay, here we go. About to find out. Rasen Shuriken, put it on auto and we're gonna run inside. Let's see. Okay, so far, so far, so good. Can we survive this? Can Getsu did not survive that. KLM Naruto. I don't know, bruh. I'm honestly still very, very, very impressed with how this man performed in Final Room. I'm very impressed. In my opinion, this man is a go-tier Final Room unit. I said it. I fucking said it. I said it. Now, I haven't made a tier list in a minute. I'll probably wait till the end of this month since we got two more units coming out. But in my opinion, I really like this unit. Anniversary is coming next month, though. So unless you're a diehard again, get to fan, I would skip. But if anniversary wasn't next month, I would say he I recommend you summon for sure. He's good, man. He's good. The, the boy with the blicky boy with the blicky is crazy. So, anyways, let me know what y'all think about the boy Gengetsu. Mizukage, I won't fuck that up again, but let me know what y'all think. I like him a lot, but as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay swaggy, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next one.